My friend who is looking for valuable items gave me a real rarity. This is not just a metal rectangle, but a gasoline lighter. It shows that it's very old, but how much? As they say on the internet, this thing was used by Wehrmacht soldier during the Second World War. Just imagine, this lighter is 78 years old, but now it is a small piece of metal that is not capable of anything. Since the lighter is made of brass, it didn't rot, but simply oxidized, and because of this it looks ugly, but is not scary. The drum, which should strike a spark, is also jammed, it doesn't spin back and forth. And as you may have already noticed, the dry is not enough weak, it's time to fix it all. It is best to do it when each part is separate, so we disassemble the lighter. First of all, we remove the lower part. It is notably soured, but succumbed. Along with the soil inside, there was old cotton wool. We will no longer need it. We pull it out with tweezers. After cotton wool, we decided to unscrew the screw, a small spring hid under it, which fixes the flint in the sleeve. It remains only to remove the drum drum. It is fixed with a rivet. You need to drill a hole. Fix the lighter in a vise and take a screwdriver with a very thin drill and drill this rivet. And remove the drum. That's all the details that make up the lighter. And first you need to get rid of the dirt. We put the parts in warm water with soap. And clean all the dirt with a toothbrush. After washing that picture didn't change much. So we take such a rust converter and some kind of jar. Put all the details into it and fill it with the agent. I don't know how it will cope with brass, but it works fine with iron. Then we close the jar and leave it all for one day. In the morning I opened the jar, and the first thing I saw some kind of black sediment. Let's get the details out of this liquid. What can I say, there are changes, the brass had been cleaned up a bit, and small parts too, but this is not enough, and needs to be processed mechanically. Since the metal is very thin, we will not use power tools so as not to grind off the excess. I'll have to work manually, I bought several types of sandpaper, and will start the processing with a rather coarse grid. Put it on the table, and take the lower part of the body, and skin it. Move it along the skin in one direction, so as not to spoil the texture of the metal. After a minute of friction, the color of the metal began to be seen, so let's continue. With the first detail I finished, we repeat all this with the rest. All is ready. After processing with this on paper, there were very large scratches and quite a few small pits. It obviously not worth stopping, so we take a smoother sandpaper and process every detail on it. Because this sandpaper is smoother, it removes large scratches and craters that could not be erased on the previous one. After processing with this sandpaper, the surface began to look much better. Scratches disappeared and there were fewer craters, but it would be worthwhile to properly make the surface at the smallest gradation. Some craters and damage from time remained, but we didn't begin to skin more, so that the lighter wouldn't lose its strength. It wouldn't hurt to clean every detail from the inside, so we do it all with the same sandpaper. We finished with large details, but what to do with small ones? Because you can't just send them with sandpaper, but we have one interested method. 
For it, we need a small jar and a lid for it. Drill a hole in the lid with a drill. We made it under this bolt, insert it and tighten it with a nut. Now we need sand. Pour a little into the jar and put all the small parts there. Screw the jar with a lid. Fix it in screwdriver chuck. And with the help of the plastic tie set a small speed, so that it rotates. Sand is a natural abrasive. From the constant rotation of the can, it will crumble inside it, thereby cleaning small parts. The process is not fast, so you need to wait. After 3 hours, I decided to see what happened to the spare parts, and it really began to look better. Almost everything is ready for assembly, but before that I decided to polish the case. For this I bought just such a felt attachment for a drill. Fix it and take the polishing paste. Apply it to the felt nozzle and polish it. Do it at medium speed, periodically add the paste and go millimeter by millimeter. I repeat the same with the second part of the body. It turned out incredibly beautiful. The surface is smooth, shiny and even mirror. But I didn't stop there. A belt made of genuine leather will help us to bring the surface to the ideal. We unwind it and apply polishing paste on the reverse side. Now we take the part and run it along the belt. Also, this method is not as fast as with a nozzle, but better quality. After processing on the belt, the surface began to look very cool, and everything can already be assembled. First, we install the drum. Insert a piece of small coronation into the hole and rivet it with a hammer. The drum is fixed and rotates freely, but until it strikes a spark. This requires flint. I bought several of these. Insert it into the hole. Insert the spring after the flint and clamp everything with a screw. We also bought a wick. This is a rope woven from thin wire. We insert it into the hole, so that a few millimeters remain on top. Now you need to lay the cotton wool, put it in the middle, then you need to tamp it down, but not very tightly, so that the gasoline is easily absorbed into the wick. It's time to fill in gasoline. I bought this one, and it is intended for lighters. We drip a little on cotton, so that it is soaked. We insert the tank into the body, and everything is ready. The lighter that has lain in the ground for 78 years has acquired a completely new look. It looks very beautiful, every detail shines, but does it work? So, let's check! And it caught fire. Our lighter started working after almost a century. And this is good news. I hope the result please you too. And you can appreciate our efforts by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hope to see you soon.